Hi everyone, my name is Chanmi Lissandra and today I will be demonstrating on how I'm going to paint a green mountain so it will be a very uh, near mountain guys so it will be more green, dark in color and it will be the nearest and I'm going to add some cliffs guys, small cliffs or some um, um, colorful trees or whatever that comes to my mind But before that, I'm going to introduce to you first my materials. I have here my paint palette. So, I have the titanium white, the tallow blue, the medium yellow, the brilliant red, and the lamp black. So, you always observe guys that I am always using limited colors in my palette. Because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And I will just be using to you guys a very simple brush. Or brushes. So I'll be using these three brushes guys, all are flat brushes. I'll also use a round brush if you have um, if you are comfortable using it. I'll be using um this number eleven flat brush, long handled, and number eight flat brush, short long handled, and this one is also is number nine flat brush short handled. Okay. And this is my canvas guys, three it's has three cuts of prime um, white acrylic you can also use gesso if it, if it's better or if it's good for you okay so the size guys you can use any size you can apply this tutorial guys if you are painting a bit or another painting then you can uh, add some nearest mountains okay so i think i'm going to start now and of course guys sorry guys uh, you need water to tint the paint so you need to you need to dilute or or add water to your brush from time to time if it feels hard so that it will be it will sm flow smoothly in your canvas okay so i'm going to start now i'm really starting now okay i'll be using this um first the uh, bigger brush guys number nine flat brush then i'll be doing first the the background colors or the the first coat or the base color i'll be using this um uh, blue color guys, star blue with, with yellow to make it green and some red guys to make it darker green so I'll be using this dark green guys with a little amount of blue with a little amount of white to make it lighter okay. You just have to apply, guys. Apply the paint here. So, I think we need to add a little um, horizon. We need to add some blue color. Okay, I thought, guys, I will add lots of colors in this so that so to show you that it doesn't matter what color you're gonna put as long as it will, up to, it will become dark. So, that will be fine. There will be no color restriction, guys. I'm going to add a little yellow. So, as you see, guys, I'm adding lots of colors in it. To show you that it doesn't matter what colors you're gonna use, I'm going to add a cliff here on the here on the sides. Then you're gonna add some blue color here, add some green and red. So I'm mixing the colors here, guys. On the on the okay. Anyway guys, this is just the, the base color, the background color. Okay, so I'm going to add um, a, a small distant green mountain here guys to show you some depths or distance between the mountains. So the, the second mountain guys or the far, farther mountain will become a little misty or lighter. So just use this color guys and just add some white in it to make it lighter and of course the blue color here. So of course guys, it became fire it will become, it will become um, uh, lighter yeah of course so I'm gonna stay okay I'm gonna add some I'm gonna add some green color on it
okay so just fill it up with the color fill everything in this part okay that's it so I think I'm going to add um, a sky guys to make it um, a complete landscape painting so I'm going to add, use the blue I oh know the white and the blue put some sky here I'm, I'm still using the same brush guys you don't have to change any brush but you can use also a smaller or bigger brush but I recommend this guy this, this the size of this brush guys so get, um, I'm going to add white to, to add some clouds here some white actually guys you can do this first the the sky color actually guys I, I'm doing this now because I, I just leave, it, leave this part dry dry first because adding the, the the details so that's why I'm, I'm doing the sky but I think it's, it, um, it's not required or you can leave it that way okay so I think this is already dry guys wait I think this part is always dry. Okay. So I think this is always dry. Yeah, it's, it's still wet a little, so I'm going to add more here. <laughs> so I'm going, to add the, I'm going to use the yellow, guys, to add some horizon here. So I use the yellow directly. Use the the back the 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 background color is still wet, so I'm going to add some more here. I'm going to wait to let it dry first. I'm going to add a little white color to to create some distance. Um, rice on here. Oh no, um, grassland or or field. Okay, just have to to blend it, guys. Uh, the the best part or the the best time you need to uh, to blend the acrylic paints is to is when it is already still wet or a little wet. But if if it feels hard, guys, just let it try and you can use water to to thin the paint. That's why you need water. Okay. Okay, so I have no. And I think we're gonna add the details now. We know. I'm gonna use this number eight flat brush. Okay, one hundred. And I'm gonna do first this one, the farther green mountain. So. I will be seeing the green color guys, so I'm gonna use this red, uh, no the yellow, I'm sorry, and blue here. Using a little amount of red here. And white. With more yellow and blue. And more white. And yellow. And more blue. You guys just play and make it lighter guys. Make sure it is lighter than the background colors. You know, you, you know, you get the stopping technique or punching. Just like you need to drag a little in the in the yeah, make it curve, guys. The leaves make it a little curve. You can use a punching like this or tapping technique. And don't forget not to overdo it, guys. Add more spaces. Okay. 
add more spaces like this part do not do not uh, overdo it guys do not do not put everything on the on the highlights so leave some more um, dark colors or the background here a little blue color okay that's it so we have now at this time a uh, little distant mountain a little, a little distant forest I think I'm going to change my brush guys it's not really that good I'm gonna use this one the the number nine flat brush and I'm gonna do this um um the um nearer mountain the nearest mountain okay so I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna put the cliff first so I'm gonna mix for brown color so I'll be using this black first a little amount of red and yellow to mix some brown and white here it's too much so I'm going to add more black key and white so it's a little uh, brownish uh, gray color guys like lighter so I'm going to add the cliff here guys so just do it slowly like this one and also another clip here more clips we to add a little bluish skin color guys a blue to make it bluish and, and white here because I'm gonna add more clips here So just uh, don't overdo it, guys. Remember, don't overdo it. Add more, sp add more um, um, spaces or distance or gaps between the, the highlights or between the rocks. Okay. So there it is. We have another cliff face. And later guys we're gonna add the highlights so I'll just leave this right first. Then we're gonna do the 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 trees or the tree leaves. Then we're gonna use the same color, the green, so we're gonna use this blue here, make some red color and some yellow to make it lighter. We're gonna add more blue. So uh, adding wh white guys to make it lighter then we're gonna add some um, some trees so make it smaller so do it slowly guys uh, you can use topping or punching technique this uh, topping punching guys we're gonna add also some leaves on the on the on the cliff or some tr um, bushes later guys we get the highlights to make this um, alive okay here also and here just careful guys and don't overdo it again guys don't overdo it don't put anything in it and make sure guys it's not too bright because this is the part that there is not uh, directly heated by the sunlight so this part should be um, dark guys so that's why I'm using um, the color is a uh, little grayish uh, grayish blue or something like that so here also so just tapping guys and punching and carefully do it one by one like you see here, I can do uh, and also okay 
Hey guys, also he here. Hey. Go slowly guys. And you need to hide sing um each um tree here like this. So you see that it's I think it was you, you see that there is uh, one crop of tree so this is gonna, that's how you gonna do it it should be a little visible okay This is not the fi this is still not the final guys. We're gonna add some highlights later. Okay, that's it. So we're gonna more add more here. Okay. Then I'm going to add the highlights. So I'm gonna do first the 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 cliff. I uh, no 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 maybe later guys I'm going to do first the 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 trees or the forest I'll just add yellow on this on the color guys it's in color here in blue then I'm gonna add the uh, white here to make it lighter more yellow and white Okay, then we're gonna add the highlights. Just put it on top of the tree, guys. That we added uh, a, while, a while ago. For the darker color that we added. And the same, guys. The same technique. The same process. Do it one by one. It's it's tree. Okay. Okay, so be careful here. So here, here. Okay. Okay guys, the, te the technique is just um, tapping a punch in. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Then you can add another colors guys. You can add something like yellow. With some more of red and white here to get lighter, so it's a little different shade, guys. It's more, uh, it's something, it's yellowish. This will show you that there are uh, other color, uh, other types of trees in the forest. Okay. I mean guys, the technique is just punching or tapping. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So we have now the... Um, the forest or... The yeah, I think it, look, it looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna add the highlights on this, um, on the cliffs, guys, of the forest. So, the same brown color, guys, we're gonna mix here. Black, red, it's too much red, so we're gonna add more rock black. And yellow here. Then we're gonna add the white, 
Yeah, that's a fight. To make it later. Okay, now we can add the highlights here. Again guys, just put it on top of the dark color. Okay. And again guys, don't overdo it. Leave some more spaces or gaps between the dark colors. It will become, it will make the painting guys um, realistic or, or near realistic. Okay, okay also. It's also create uh, the the impression that it has it is being struck by sunlight or it is being hit by a uh, direct sunlight. Okay. Okay, that's it. Then I'm gonna add some yellow color, guys. More here. Then gonna add more white. To make more light color okay and turn the wheel red okay what do you think about that see another cliff I'm going to add more That's really nice and beautiful. Yeah, that's it. And guys, I'm going to retouch more. Yeah, to add more retouch. And add more. And add more highlights here. Some glasses, guys. Otherwise, this this is not needed, guys. Yeah, but if you are watching now. You can also uh, do this or get something out of this. Then I'm gonna add more highlights on the. I'm, go I'm going to add more yellow highlights on the on this um, forest, guys. To add more yellow trees. To add something like um, another variety of trees, guys. Okay. Okay. I'm adding more varieties of trees guys to make this forest um, alive and I think really happy. Yeah, those happy trees. That's bubble tree. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay. I think that will do guys <laughs> and I wanna say thank you guys for watching this uh, tutorial today this uh, pretty short demonstration how to paint um, of a nearest um, tree with with um, a cliff um, the tree is not misty so I hope you understand my instructions and I hope you may learn something from it and thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching this video and if you wanna painting with me, just keep on practicing, keep on keep on keep on doing it. The more you do it, the more you know how to mix the colors, and the more you know how to use your brushes. That's a very important, guys, in learning how to paint. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much. And please hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future. And if future, and once again, um, have a good day and God bless you.